Hi, uh, welcome to this episode of Cell Vault and in today's episode I'll walk you through the new operating system from BlackBerry 10.2. This operating system comes preloaded with the new device Z30 that you see on the table right now. Uh, this is my Z30 running in OS 10.2, so how do you check that first is go to settings. On settings you go on about and it shows you what other device details. So here you see it's running on a 10.2.0.224. And today in India, it's launched for uh, Vodafone Q10 also running on Vodafone, right? So Z30 comes preloaded with 10.2 for your Q10 and for your Q5s. It will be launched down in November, right? So coming back to the OS 10.2, what's new in this operating system? It's uh, the feedback that BlackBerry received. They have pretty much implemented them and the user gets an enhanced experience on his device now. So to start off with, the first thing that uh, I would want to show you here is a priority hub. So uh, what does this do? Is basically if I go on my hub which is my one-stop notification place for all my email and for all my alerts that I get on my device they are unified on my hub so if I scroll down to my right you see here's a priority hub now when I touch on my priority hub you see there's this red line which signifies they are on my prioritized communication so a use case scenario can be right let's see you're traveling on a plane right and your phone is on an airplane mode now, once you land on your destination, right, and you reboot the plane, so whatever communications uh, people have sent you, right, they would start pouring in on your device the moment you latch onto your network. So what happens is you do not want to miss out on your important communication. So your priority hub would only show you those communication which you have marked as priority. How do you do that? Okay, so let's say uh, this is my priority hub. And when I go on my priority hub, I want to let's say remove this communication from my priority so the moment I long press it it gives me this menu which has a down arrow now when I touch this it gives me two options so it says you want to remove the contact so that means this particular sender is no more a priority or you want to remove the conversation which means let's say you've started a thread and you say that that thread is no more a priority so you can do either of them Let's say I say the contact isn't a priority and I do an OK. So this contact would be removed from my priority hub now. Yes, but then I can show uh, later add it on as my priority contact, but for now I've removed it. So this is my priority hub, which is a new feature in 10.2. So how do you add on to your contacts to priority hub? I go onto my hub, which is my any normal hub, which you get on a 10.1 operating system. All my communications come here. Let's say I say that, okay, this person for me is a contact let's say I say this person for me is a contact what I'll do is I long press it and you see this is up arrow now unlike last time there was a down arrow so when I do up arrow it says the contact is a priority and the conversation is a priority so I can accordingly match it and I can add this on my priority hub so that's something very good that BlackBerry has come up with in OS 10.2 where it lets you organize your priority now the next thing that is very good is the attachment view. So you see this attachment here. When I long touch this, it gives me my attachments that have come on my emails. So when someone sends you an email with an attachment, right, it gets really difficult for you to search an attachment. But then what this uh, functionality does for you is it organizes all your attachments in one place and you can search for the relevant attachment by the name itself. So you're never lost on your attachments. So all the attachments come here and you can open them as and when you want so there are two atta attachments that i've received today i want to open this cv someone sent me today so when i touch this if you see there's this bar right so this means that it would download it now because i haven't downloaded it from my mail so it's downloaded and open up the cv here for me so i haven't gone on my mailbox but then i've opened it from my attachment view in my hub itself so that's my attachment view then something very good and interactive and seamless experiences BBM now so what is a BBM now so BBM is announced on cross-platform off late and what BBM now does is let's say this is something very good which I would want to show my viewers let's say I'm playing a game which is Min and Rush I recently downloaded it from Blackberry world something very interesting and it's a very interactive game now uh, when I'm playing this game someone sends me and a BBM so if you see there's my friend who sent me and a BBM which says hey and let's say I'm playing the game now, I tap the screen and he sends me one more BBM, let's say after a few minutes, once I have not responded, he would send me a BBM, I want to respond it, I'll just touch this arrow here, it says write a message. So I haven't opened my BBM, 
I would reply here A and I send this. So it's gone. So while I'm playing a game, it has taken me to BBM now. It lets me see that BBM while I'm in the middle of a game. So it's a seamless experience that it offers me. And this thing works on a text messages also. So see, this is my BBM now. So it's my BBM that someone has sent me. I can revert from here itself. Or what I can do is if someone's texted me, a text message comes to me. And while I'm playing that game, the text message would also work here. So you can revert on the text messages on your WhatsApps and on your BBMs. So that is something that company call as BBM now, which gives you a seamless experience. You do not have to quit the game and then go into the BBM and then revert on the communication. But then yes, you can do it while you are playing a game. So if you see here's the text message, I will just tap this, write the message and I say test and I do a send here. So you see here, this is from the same screen I've done it. It's a seamless experience, like I said. Coming to the next feature of 10.2, we've got something called as a smart calling and reply. So what this does is, let's say someone calls me on my phone. So what happens is you're in the middle of a meeting, let's say, right? And you want to revert it that you're busy, you can't take the call right now. So if someone calls me on my phone, when someone calls me on the phone, what it does is it lets me uh, decline the call and send an alert. So when someone would call me, and uh, if you see now this person is calling me and the BBM pin comes up with the number, it says pull up to reply. And there's a small BBM chat icon here. So when I drag up to decline the call, it gives me a return your call shortly. I'm on my way, what's on your mind? So what's on your mind is a custom message. So I'll say, I'll return your call shortly. Now message sent via BBM. So because the phone automatically identified the contact that's available on BBM, you don't have to pay your text message charges. It goes via the BBM. That's something very good. So that's a smart reply. So ideally, similar lines, what smart calling does is it lets you call your contact over the preferred network. So if a contact is available on a BBM, it would dial via BBM. If it's not available on a BBM, it would go via your cellular network. So that's your smart calling and your reply. Then we talk about the multiple alarms. So this was something that was lacking in 10.1 and there were feedbacks given to BlackBerry. So what they have come up now is when I lock my screen and I turn the lights on, it's still locked. But then yes, when I drag it down, it would give me my alarm, my clock. And up here, if you see this plus icon, this is recently added, which is called your multiple alarms. So I can add multiple alarms on 10.2. So that's something uh, which usually people use their phones for to wake them up in the morning. I usually hate one. That is one thing which I would never want to do. And uh, so say a uh, weather app update. Okay, now uh, the weather app that was there in 10.1, there's been some enhancements here. So when I go on my weather app, it th there's a whole new interface up here now. So if you see, they have changed the history, how the days have been in past, current, what's the current temperature like. So there have been some UI changes on the weather app. English input is something really good that they have come up with. So usually people uh, interact in Hindi, right? But then, uh, yes, it's kind of a English format where Hindi words are written in English and pronounced in Hindi. So uh, on a BlackBerry operating system, right, uh, viewers would know you can type in three languages at the same time. So how do you do that? I go on settings and on settings, you see here language and input. When I do or go on language and input, it says input languages. So when I touch here, you say I've selected English, US and English. Now I can add one more language up here and let's say I say Spaniel. Now when I touch here, it would let me, I'll put a tick here and it's Spaniel now and I do a save. So what I've done is I've selected three languages as my input language when I'm typing a text message. It would be English, English and Spaniel. This is it. And when I go back, back, I swipe this up, close it, and let's say I want to type a text message now, and I do a compose. So if you see, I do an H, so when I select my let's say this is my contact, and I do I type the message, let's say H. So if you see, the moment I type H, it gives me Ola. It gives me Ola, so which means it's automatically suggesting me the word that is to be typed in Spanish. Now let me show you in English, let's say I want to type Namaste. And the moment I type N, it's giving me over A, Namaste. 
that is the magic of typing on a blackberry you would have more videos in said vault detailing you the typing experience on a blackberry device so do check out the typing videos on blackberry so uh, that is at, uh, they have the english input language also added on 10.2 and the notification preview on lock screen this is something very cool that they have come up with so let's say i have locked my phone this is my phone in the lock mode and uh, the lock screen preview right i have just turned my lights on the phone i haven't unlocked the phone but the moment i touch these icons see i can see the lock screen notifications the preview on lock screen it says i've got some new email when i touch this it would show me that okay these are the new emails the facebook alerts the notification so what is happening here is i haven't unlocked my phone and without having to unlock my phone i can still see the notifications here this is called lock screen preview then uh, there's something called as dynamic sharing that is new in the 10.2 operating system and uh, to show you what dynamic sharing is i will quickly take a picture for you and i'll show you what is snap and share also along with that so let me just turn on my camera here and uh, let me just take a photo of this coffee cup and i'll put my this here and at the moment i take this photo so i just turn to this camera mode and when i take this photograph now if you see here this is my photo that i just captured and uh, i'll just put my finger in i'll just drag it it gives me an option to share so if you just drag this up you go on to share you leave this it takes you to share so it gives me that okay these were the people who have recently shared some pics okay and then you want to share it via whatsapp or via bbm so let's say i do share via bbm so before i share it i can also edit this image up here so i go onto this pencil icon and it lets me edit so this is my dynamic sharing if you see i can just edit the image before i share it i save it and there you go i want to share it via my bbm and i can share it with my contacts so let's say i share it with my colleague and i do this i do the same so that's it so this is my dynamic sharing which is as simple as you do not have to go to picture gallery and then share the pic you can share it the moment you take it you take the snap you can share it then next what you have here is a uh, 15 minute late slider right so what that does for you is if let's say you are approaching a meeting right but then suddenly you realize that you are getting late for that meeting so when the phone alerts you you have a slider on the phone which lets you alert your participants that okay i'll be late for this meeting so you can adjust that slider accordingly and you can send that notification to the participants for that meeting so that is for 10.2 and uh, for all the users who are using uh, a Q10 or a Q5 or a Z10, you would have 10.2 operating systems coming pretty soon on your devices. So this is the BlackBerry Z30, the new flagship device running uh, on BlackBerry 10.2 operating systems. For more information, subscribe to our channel, Cell Vault. Thank you for watching.